welcome back to Bartos Media. I'm Eric. It's been a long time since I've done a video and I'm very sorry about that. My hair has gotten really long, so I don't know. It's just going to stay like that. Anyways, let's get into today's video. We got three RDL products here today that I think might blow your mind. All right, like I was saying, we have three RDL products here today that I think are gonna blow your mind. They are Dante-enabled audio interface products that are perfect for your home studio, your broadcast studio, your home office, your home theater, wherever you wanna use Dante. Before we get started, I just wanna say that all three of these products were sent to me to try out by RDL and Broadcasters General Store. These, product, these opinions on these products are all my own, and nobody gets to preview this video before I post it on the internet. So here they are. These are three of RDL's Dante-enabled audio products. We have a headphone amp, a microphone preamp, and an analog audio output right in front of me. Let's talk just a little bit about RDL to start. All these products are part of their bigger AV pack line, which has a whole bunch of different Dante uh, interfaces that can be thrown pretty much anywhere that you need them to go. Because they are so small and so versatile, you can take them with their included mounting brackets here and just put them on the side and you can mount them up on the bottom of a desk or on the top of a desk or wherever you need to mount something. They also have rack mounts and all kinds of other little accessories that go along with these units. They are wonderful to throw anywhere, in your home studio, your office, your home theater, your, your broadcast studio, your TV studio, wherever you're using Dante, you can use these products, including live sound. And I'll touch on that a little bit more in a minute as one of the best use cases that I have found for these little guys. So this is the AVNH1. This is a headphone amp that is direct to Dante. Now, I have gone on a whole lot in a couple of other videos about how annoying headphones in radio studios are. They are like the hardest thing in the world to get right. This helps solve that problem a little bit because now we have our audio coming in digital right, right into the headphone amp that is under the desk. And then you can plug in your headphones right here. So you're not going to have to have a little distribution amp in the corner. You don't have to deal with running more cables for your headphones. You just have to run one network cable and that's it plug in your headphones, you're good to go. This little guy sounds amazing because it is converting your audio right inside and it goes plenty loud for even the most deaf radio host that you have on staff. One thing to keep in mind about this is that you do have the choice of 3.5 millimeter or quarter inch inputs, but they are only active one at a time. So you have to pick one or the other. You have to have multiple of these headphone amps if you want to drive multiple channels of headphones. This box, along with all of the other boxes on my desk right in front of me here, are power over ethernet enabled. So every box can be powered with PoE, no problems at all. You just plug it in, it turns on, and it's good to go. Uh, if you don't have a PoE network switch, they do make a wall adapter so you can just go ahead and plug these guys into the mains. Now, moving on to the next box and probably my favorite box, this is the AVXNM4, a four channel, Dante enabled, power over ethernet powered microphone preamp. This little guy has four amazingly clean microphone preamps inside and they are just probably some of the best microphone preamps that I have heard in a digital interface, all in one like this, uh, that any manufacturer makes. It has three selectable gain levels, low, medium, and high. You cannot control that in the software, so make sure you set that correctly on the front. I know there's a million different interfaces that can talk Dante, and a million different interfaces that have microphone inputs. But these guys are doing something a little different. This is power over ethernet. 
This whole box can be powered over Ethernet. And you can power four Phantom Power microphones while it's on PoE. That is something that I've never seen in an interface like this before. Moving on to this last little box. This is the AVNL2. This is a Dante enabled two port mic line selectable audio output. This is the output uh, from the network. So you get two channels of output that are just Dante enabled. Your analog to digital conversion is done right there at the output. So no need to worry about cables causing uh, you know, your signal quality to, deg to degrade after it is switched from digital to analog audio. It's also powered over PoE, just like the others. And the really interesting and kind of useful thing about this guy is that it can output both line level and mic level signals. Why would you want these Dante interfaces? What would you use them for? Well, there's tons of different use cases and most of them involve a uh, radio studio. So these devices would work with any kind of audio over IP that supports Dante. Now I said I would talk a little bit more about the live sound use case for these and uh, that is kind of the one that I've been playing with a little bit here while I've had these guys in my hands uh, because I wanted to try out what it would be like to run audio from this mic interface to this little guy and monitor on this headphone amp so we can you know, basically mix in a computer. So all you have to do to make this work, it's super simple. Open up your favorite uh, audio uh, software uh, for this particular use case. I'm using uh, Logic Pro because I know it can handle this low latency IO uh, over the Dante audio network. You have to get yourself a Dante virtual sound card. That's only 30 bucks. How can you say no to that? You have to just plug in any of these three devices to your network to make that sync. You open up your Dante control panel and route everything in to uh, Logic. You bring them up onto individual tracks, and then you route a bus out to this little guy, stereo bus, left, right, channels one, two, boom, boom, good to go. Now you have your audio coming into this guy, you have your audio going out to this guy, you're mixing in Logic, and as, as a big bonus, you are now able to full multi-track record whatever you're sending into this because it's all going into your computer computer already. And then all you have to do is hook up the little headphone amp, send this as your master output on your Mac, and you're good to go. You can monitor just like any other source. And that's pretty much all you need. I mean, you know, you can monitor it. You could even give the talent one of these little guys and use those as their monitor mix. You can, the, the possibilities with this setup are endless. And the best part about using these products in that type of situation is the fact that you can just throw them wherever and they're probably not gonna break. These things are built tough. This is an all metal, I don't know if you can hear that. All metal chassis, none of the sides, nothing, nothing except for the jacks and the switches are plastic. We even have a wonderful locking EtherCon jack on the back. So if you outfit all of your network cables with the EtherCon type ports, you're not gonna have any problems with network cables coming out. So there are a couple things to note about all three of these devices or, and all RDL and pretty much all Dante devices in general. Uh, everything that gets plugged into the network needs an IP address. So for these particular devices, since there is no way to interface with them other than the Dante control panel, you're probably gonna wanna have a DHCP server on your network. In addition to the DHCP server, you will need a computer that is running the Dante control panel or the Dante domain manager if you're going that route. You'll also need a decent network switch to be able to handle Dante. Now Dante is not as uh, demanding as a, uh, say, multicast network like Wheatnet or Livewire, but it still does send out a lot of data and it still needs to be a very stable network. I would not recommend taking this and plugging it into your little tiny Netgear unmanaged switch or your Linksys unmanaged switch. You'll need something a little more powerful than that just to be able to keep up and be rock solid with these types of devices. That is gonna do it for these three RDL products today. I'd like to thank Broadcast Through General Store and RDL for sending me these three little guys to try out and give my honest opinion on, and hopefully they'll be willing to send me a couple of more products over the next few months here, so we can have a little comparison of all the Dante products and all of the other products that RDL makes. 
I'd like to thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoyed this, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you can get notified next time I upload a wonderful RDL video or any other broadcast audio videos. That's going to do it for this one, and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you.